Hello, everyone. I think it is very difficult for many people to continue doing good to a person that continues hurting them. For instance, not saying that you are doing everything right, you know, but let's say that you have an honest heart. You want to do what is right, even though you fail at times. But let's say that you are getting better as time passes by. And let's say that you do good things for a person or people. And no matter what you do for that person or people, it's like they continue to do something or some things to you that aren't acceptable. So for, I guess, a normal person, they may say to themselves, hey, since this person continues to hurt me or do wrong toward me, let me do wrong back. Let me hurt this person back. And I think if that happens, all that is going to happen is your enemy is going to reap what they sow and you are going to reap what you sow as well. So who actually wins? So we have to learn to do good for those do good for those do good toward them those that do bad toward us if this makes any sense i would say depends on the situation because with some enemies you may not even have to be around but some enemies you may have to be in contact with them and when i say do good i am not always saying you have to invite them over your home for tea do good to them can mean be courteous like be kind be nice not so much you have to give to them but in some cases you may have to i don't know but be courteous be kind be pleasant be nice so do good to those who aren't so good to you i think it is very easy to think you know, since this bad is happening to me, let me return that bad back so that person will know how it actually feels when they do wrong to me. And that is the wrong type of thinking. Totally wrong. Because I know in my life, I always need mercy. I always need mercy. So if I cry out to God for mercy, shouldn't I be at least a bit merciful to those who wrong me? So if they wrong me, let me be merciful and not try to do wrong back to that person or people, right? I think that is logical, maybe not logical, but maybe more so spiritual, I guess, logical as well, maybe. I need mercy. I need 
grace. I need God all the time. So how, how wrong would it be if I have it in my mind every time someone does wrong to me, I want them to be punished every single time of the day or every time when they do me wrong. I think that is very bad thinking. Learn to do good to those who may act ignorantly, who may act, I don't like using this word, foolishly, who may act like they climbed out of the cave and met someone in society today like a, a caveman, like a uncivilized human being, in a sense. We have to do good. No matter what a person does to us, we can't act unseemly. We can't lower ourselves to that of our enemies. I hope this makes sense. Whether you see the person as your enemy as not, if a person continues doing wrong to you, if you don't call that an enemy, well, let's just refer to that type of behavior. If someone does that to you, do good to those type of people as well. I hope this makes sense. Don't be tempted to do wrong to someone because they have done wrong to you. Because I believe the person who did you wrong in the beginning will have to pay. And if you do wrong, you are going to pay as well. Let's go to Colossians 3 and 25. Right quick. Colossians 3 and 25, Bible Gateway, King James Version. I like this verse. But he that doeth, and she as well, but he that doeth wrong, shall not maybe not whatever like that but shall receive for the wrong which he hath done so if i do wrong wrong is going to come back to me okay and there is no respect of persons so if let me use a random name. If Joey is constantly doing wrong, hey, I mean, if, if someone is constantly doing Joey wrong, Joey don't have to think about revenge because according to this, something is going to happen to that enemy whether we see it, hear about it, or not. This is what we have to understand. We must, including myself, we must trust in what the Bible says and not, le and not lean to our own understanding. I believe when we lean to our own understanding, that is when we get into trouble including myself. So let's do better. Let me stop here. May God bless you.